are my best friend, so how can I not invite you to a beautiful picnic? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I really like to spend some quality time with my bestest friend. And you know what? Even our viewers love our pairing as a best friend. And I also love to invite you on my channel because my viewers love you so much. Oh, sister, come on! Don't make me blush. I'm not so famous. <laughs> of course you are. Now just have a look at the beautiful surrounding for our picnic. See? Yeah, sister. Yeah. But you know what? It's so hot today outside and feeling so hot. I wish I had some floor fan or something like that. You know? Oh my God! My best friend is feeling so hot and I can't do anything about it. That's wrong. Wait. Let's make a floor fan for you. What's it? Oh my God! Can you really make it for me? Yes, Twizzle, of course. And you know what? One of my subscribers also wanted me to make a floor fan. So let's make it today. Woohoo! Come on, Scissor. Let's pack up our picnic and let's head on to the studio. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. So for this, you need cardboard, card paper. Craft wire, some glue. So let's get started. So as you can see, I've taken this silver card paper over here, and now I'll start cutting the tiny stripes out of it. As you can see, this way. And likewise, I've cut so many others one too. Now I'll just use glue to stick them together like this. Make sure you stick them together this way, and this is the proper one. So once you are done with it and it looks something like this, after that you will just take this tiny piece of uh, cardboard circle over here in the middle, this way and after that you will take another piece of circle and stick it on top of it again. Now I have taken this silver card paper uh, ring and I will just stick it over here. In the middle like this so once this is done as you can see I've got this and now I'll take another piece of circle and then I'll just take this silver card paper again and I'll stick it these two together like this so that these two cover each other sides and show the silver side on top and then I'll just make some stripes again now I'll just use this circle and I'll start sticking these stripes so which are silver on each of the sides. So now after this one is also completed as you can see I'll just take another piece of ring cardboard ring silver cardboard ring and I'll just stick it over here again. So these two are done as you can see the little this one is little smaller and the other one is bigger so now I'll just take the measurement and I'll cut off the axis after that I'll just take this pen and I'll roll off the edges of the larger one like this so after giving them the folds it will look something like this and then I'll just take another piece of silver stripe and I'll just use the pen to give it a good folding and then I'll just make two of the rings like this and after that I'll stick it over here on the corners So once this is done, 
as you can see this is what I got right now and I've made these two together and now I'll just take this stool and I'll just use some holes over here so after doing the hole I'll just take another piece of cardboard circle and then this shape again so these will be the fans for the inside as well and now I'll just use the pen to fold the one side of the fan after that I'll just use the craft wire and I'll insert it in the hole after that I'll just take this cardboard and I'll use this over here so it can give the space between this cage and the fan so that the fan can move correctly and properly and once that is done now I'll just use this black colored bead over here so it gets secured and this is how the fan will move after that I've taken this silver card paper again and I'll just use some glue to attach them together this way so this is a cylindrical shape one bot one part is a little bit larger and the other one is smaller and after that I'll take these two silver card paper circles and I'll just stick them together and now I'll just use my hot glue gun and stick that part of the cylindrical shape with this this way and then to close the opening I'll just stick this circle over here Yeah, that's done now and then I'll just apply another piece of black bead over here and then I'll use my pliers to cut off the axis craft wire and then I'll just glue the end so that the bead doesn't come out and this is the final result of the fan moving once that is done I'll just take this plain white paper and I'll use a craft wire to cover that So this way the craft wire will get little thicker and don't worry if you have a thick craft wire already with you it's good. After that I'll just use another piece of white strip and I'll just cover this part to make it little thicker. And then some over here also in the middle. So once that is done now I'll use my hot glue gun and I'll stick this part. with this one and I'll just close this fan and after that to get it more secured I'll just use some glue and then I'll just stick this silver card paper strip over here so that it gets more secured and then I'll just poke some hole over here also use my hot glue gun and then stick this over here so this will be the fan stand this way as you can see it's halfway through and now this is how it looks right now after that to make the base where which will help the fan stand properly I'll just take this thick cardboard and I'll use another thick cardboard circle on top of it to give it more weight and after that I'll use some glue again And stick the third one which is the silver card paper circle after that I'll take another piece of cardboard thick cardboard and I'll use the silver card paper circle on top of it as well after that I'll just use some glue on the corners and stick this silver card paper stripe again to cover the look and make it more decent and then I'll just stick these two together and then I'll just poke some hole over here as well and I'll just apply this with the stand to the base so as you can see now it's completed and this is how the fan will move so this is the final look guys see isn't it adorable So guys this is the final look of the fan and it's really beautiful and when it moves it looks just as real as the real one. So this is the final video guys I hope you liked it if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I post a new video you will be notified till next time bye bye.
Before ending this video here, I would like to say that if you love me and my work, then please make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to become a part of my Phoenix Army. And also, if you want to connect with me, then follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and also make sure to follow me on my Facebook. So this way, I can connect with you all on all the social medias and different platforms. And guys, if you all want, you can comment down below anything that you want to see next in my videos and I'll try to make all of them really soon.